I'm John Hanna for CDTV.net in New York and we have Dirk Van Dyke, Chief Equity Strategist at Zax.com, joining us from Dayton, Ohio. Hey, Dirk. Hey, John. How's it going? Good, good, good. And yourself? Oh, not too bad. It's snowing out here, so more more winter here. Okay. We're, we're, we're going to get, a, a, I think, some piece of that action by tonight. Uh, they say there's going to be a uh, winter storm in effect for tonight and tomorrow, so... We're going to be bracing for that as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, we got it out here already. Oh, man. So. Um, is it bad or no? Oh, it's probably about, you know, two and a half, three inches on the ground now, but still coming down. So. Okay. I'm not sure how much it's going to totally be. Okay, well, we, it's, it's stay, stay warm, as they say. Let's talk about the unemployment numbers. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the report was a little bit of a, a disappointment, uh, you know, particularly after, uh, you know, expectations were, were raised a lot by the ADT report that had come out uh, on, on Wednesday, which looked, you know, was, was amazingly strong uh, with close to 300,000 jobs added, and the BLS said, no, I don't think so. Um, and they showed only 113,000 uh, jobs being added in the private sector, and uh, actually a total of 103,000 uh, added as uh, state and local governments uh, subtracted 20,000 jobs, given their uh, fiscal difficulties. They've been laying off a, a lot of people. The federal that was offset by. The federal government increasing employment by ten thousand. Uh, so you know that was uh, definitely below the expectations for about uh, one hundred and sixty thousand jobs being added. But when you factor in some pretty good sized upward revisions to uh, both the October and the November reports, the, the actual level of jobs in the economy was pretty much in line with everybody's expectations. Uh, it just happened to come as they allocated them as, as actually being created in, in October or November. The, the total uh, jobs, uh, instead of being 39,000 added in October or in November, were 71,000 jobs, and it's a nice pickup. And October was was even stronger than originally reported, uh, at 210,000 jobs added, not 172,000. Um, and both of those numbers, or the October number, incidentally, was revised uh, up in the November report as, as well. So there's a, a real pattern there, and I would not be shocked if the Next month, we, we see the revisions for the de December uh, jobs, and they're, they're revised up. The, the rest of the employment indicators really do look better um, than what was shown in the, the private sector. And the unemployment rate, which you know, is incidentally, uh, you know, it, it, it's derived from a separate survey, so there's always a little bit of uh, apples to oranges uh, in comparing the numbers, um, the uh, unemployment rate, which comes from the household service, uh, actually dropped to 9.4 percent from 9.8 percent. Uh, that is a little bit of a statistical anomaly because we had a drop in the civilian participation rate to 64.3 percent from 64.5 percent. In other words. Uh, a bigger percentage of the population was simply out of the workforce. Um, you know, either they're you know sort of too young, uh, still in, in you know going to grade school or retired, or just not uh, not looking for a job or employed. Uh, and there's been a, a long-term downward trend on that since about uh, the year 2000. Uh, it started to go up a little bit during the, the expansion and. Uh, in 04, 05, uh, 06, but it's since really come down. Um, but uh, it, it's not entirely the case because the uh, the percentage of the overall population that is employed ticked up to 
3% from 58.2%. So based on the household survey, there was some improvement, but it really is less than that big drop from uh, 9.8% to 9.4% would uh, would tend to, to indicate. Um, and on the, you know, incidentally, on the, the household survey, the number of jobs added actually was uh, up 297,000, which exactly matches what ADP found in uh, its private sector survey. Now, generally, people pay less attention to the total numbers in the, the household survey than the employer survey. So it's considered a less reliable number, but it, it is a encouraging uh, indication. Uh, we saw the unemployment rate drop for just about every major demographic group. For men over age 20, it, it fell to 9.4% from 9.9%. That's a big, big drop, a half a percent. For women over age 20 to 8.1% from 8.3%. Uh, teenagers, one exception, uh, rising to 25 0.4% from 24.5%, so uh, fewer teenagers uh, able to find jobs. Uh, the white unemployment rate fell to 8.5% from 8.9%. Um, the rate from, for blacks to 15.8% from 16%. For Hispanics, from 13.0% from 13.2%. So, you know, pretty much every demographic group saw a drop in the unemployment rate, but, you know, let's, let's face it, we're, we're talking uh, still very, very high levels, uh, particularly for the more disadvantaged uh, groups in the society, blacks, Hispanics, teenagers, uh, et cetera. Uh, so, I mean, the one other sort of nasty fly in the ointment uh, for the report was the duration of unemployment numbers, or again, heading in the wrong direction. Uh, half of all the people who are unemployed have now been out of work for 22.4 weeks. That's up from 21.7 weeks uh, in November and uh, from uh, 21.3 weeks in September. Now, in June, that hit 25 and a half uh, weeks, which was an all-time record. But these are still... Uh, absolutely disastrous numbers. The, the high, prior to the Great Recession, the highest the median duration of unemployment had ever reached was 12.3 weeks. So we're, we're almost double that, and that was in the depths of the pretty nasty uh, recession of 82, 83. We got up to, to, to that level, and that was, you know, at the time considered just, uh, you know, atrocious level, and, and we've been consistently, you know, well over that in, in, the, in the 20s uh, in terms of the median duration for over a year now. That, that, that's, uh, that's a very big problem. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're, there's an awful lot of people, you know, who, who've lost their jobs, you know, over two years ago, and even with the extension of unemployment benefits, it was part of the big uh, tax compromise, uh, you know, late last year, uh, those people are, are, are probably going to be losing the benefits. You know, it isn't extended past the 99 weeks, which is, you know, approximately two years ago. And two years ago was when the height of the job losses uh, were occurring. You know, that, that was when we were losing three quarters of a million jobs a month. And a lot of those people have not found new jobs and are just going to be out of luck and, and really, really hurting, uh, not just currently, but they've probably damaged their, uh, their lifelong uh, financial uh, prospects. And, and that's, a, I think, a pretty big uh, concern, uh, not only for those people individually, uh, but I, I do think it's, it's a, a bad thing for the uh, U.S. economy uh, long term. Uh, so, you know, now we are back to, to adding jobs. This is the 12th month in a row that the private sector uh, has added uh, added jobs 
uh, that's a nice milestone. But we lost so many jobs in this downturn that, you know, it, if we continue on this pace, you know, it, it's going to be, uh, you know, into to 2016 uh, before we get back to where we were uh, in terms of the total number of jobs before the recession started in, in November or December of, of 2007. I mean, talk about a lost decade. We really are looking at that in, in terms of, of total employment uh, in, this, uh, in this country. Um, so, you know, we're, we're moving in the right direction, but we're moving very, very slowly. Uh, you know, the... The drop in the unemployment rate is encouraging, but I would term that as being, you know, overstated given the the other uh, the other numbers, uh, particularly the drop in the uh, participation rate. Uh, so don't get overly excited about it, but on the other hand, don't write it off as, as being an entire uh, pigment of the imagination. It's there is something real going on there, but it's not as much as, you know, the headlines uh, would would suggest. Uh, but, you know, if we do get positive movement in the employment front, that should help set up a virtuous cycle, which will make further gains in employment uh, more likely, because, uh, you know, the people who now have paychecks will be out going and, and spending that money, and that will create additional demand, which will create uh, in additional employment uh, opportunities. Uh, so I think we're moving in the right direction. I'm generally pretty optimistic about the direction of the economy in 2011, uh, but uh, also getting a little impatient, and I think uh, most of the uh, the country is, you know, with it actually getting uh, people back to work and, you know, you got to remember there are an awful lot of people out there who are hurting very badly, uh, you know, who, who want to work, and, and the jobs just aren't there. So, uh, you know, it's uh, would it would have liked to have seen the, the ADP report numbers come to be confirmed by the BLS uh, on Friday, but unfortunately they weren't. But, you know, we are maybe next month. <laughs> Uh, it, it, it will we'll get uh, get better numbers. That's Dirk Van Dyke, Chief Equity Strategist at Zax.com, joining us from Dayton, Ohio, and I'm John Hanna for CDTV.net.